Hey everybody, this is Jeremy Watkin from Communicate Better Blog, and I'm actually here today with Erica. She's one of our awesome customer service reps at phone.com. Um, she actually posted a comment on our blog about a great experience that she had uh, yesterday at Discount Tire, mm -hmm. and I wanted to have her just share the experience because it definitely left a... Uh, um, left her with a smile on her face and for sure <laughs> i you guys actually i should preface this also by saying that for those people that for all two of you that are watching this i'm sure you must be faithful <laughs> readers of our blog and um erica is the smile collector that i've referred to in the past yes. so guilty <laughs> infamous. so tell us about your experience yesterday um well yeah i basically Called in a discount tire, let them know my tire size, let them know I needed two new tires. I was quoted a price. Um, from the initial call to the time I picked up my keys, it, they were awesome, really friendly, helpful, cheerful on the phone. Um, and they were like, yeah, come on down. We're open 530. You need directions. Because um, people say they can't find us sometimes. And, um, you know, we were just very helpful in that, right? And when I got there, I stood in line behind one other gentleman and there were workers that were coming and going and each time someone walked past they said have you been helped have you been helped and i, I probably That's in the cool. five minutes that i was there three people asked me mm -hmm. have you been helped and i'm like well no and they said okay we'll send someone and it was kind of being passed off you know well i'm gonna go get someone and that person came and said have you been helped and then no okay then send someone else but it really wasn't a much longer, um, much longer of a wait after that mm. last person. And I said, well, come on down. Well, let's let's uh, get your information, and we'll take you out and look at your car. So I met a, a very nice gentleman named Eric, and uh, <laughs> so Eric I'm and never going to forget him now. <laughs> never going to forget him. Um, he, we shook hands. We went outside. He took a look at my tires, measured all of them. Um, turned the car on, got my mileage, and during that time he was complimenting the car. Um, it's had some dings and scratches. It's been through a lot, so I was like, okay, <laughs> if you love it, that's fine. Um, and told me a little story about his wife and, and their experience with their Honda Accord, which is what I have. Um, and, you know, just kind of building a rapport. He was really friendly, really nice. And then he said, okay, we're going to go inside. I'll quote you some tire prices, and we'll go from there. So he was very informative. He was telling me about each tire, the price range, about how long each tire would last for, you know, trying to give me a big picture to, to look at. Um, ultimately, for me, it was a matter of price. And I said, look, just give me whatever is cheap, you know, just work it out. And he's like, okay, be sure. Well, then we have this. And, you know, he was really pushing for me to get something that was going to last and be quality. Like, he really cared. So that meant a lot. Um, I, ended, I ended up going with, uh, a cheaper tire still because <laughs> I said well I'm going to be coming back and forth I'm sure for regular maintenance checks and things like that so if I stay on top of that I should be fine but yeah he was saying well um, once we get your email address we'll send you a monthly email reminding you to come in and get your tire pressure looked at we'll balance and rotate your tires every three months free of mm -hmm. charge um, and all of that was without a warranty without any additional fees being paid or anything he was very upfront about everything um, so yeah, when it, when it came down to it, I mentioned about the pricing that there had been a quote for 168 and he was quoting me these more astronomical numbers hmm. than I was looking to pay at the time. Um, for the same tire, I think it would have been like 192 versus 168 wow. Yeah, and I was like, whoa, I didn't get that quote. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know if I can continue. You've been great. He said, well, you know what? Um, I'd be happy to honor that for you. And just went ahead and just... Without hesitation. Without any hesitation. And a huge wow. smile on his face the whole That's time. Cool. So then he did his little magic on the keyboard, and that was that. It was uh, 168 out the door. And hmm. he took the keys. He said, all right, it'll be about 40, 45 minutes. Would you have some people waiting? But we're going to get to your car as soon as we can. Made sure to remind me that they close at 6. So to come back, and uh, they actually had to call me because I was up the street eating dinner and in, in my own world and so they called me a couple of times to let me know my car was ready when I showed up after closing to get my car I was really apologetic like I'm sorry I hope I didn't hold you guys up and the, some other gentleman was there and he's like oh it's fine it's fine and we're just glad you were able to come back and get your car because we were going to stay but we just didn't know where you were because mm -hmm. you hadn't answered your phone and you know huge smile on his face as well like, these guys were awesome so I'm going to follow up with a, a Yelp commentary oh, about it because cool. I yelp a lot um, but 
just five star service. Awesome, awesome service. I feel like I went to a dealership without paying the dealership prices. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. And that was discount tire. Yeah. That's yeah. cool. Anything you think they could could have done better, <laughs> other than giving you the low price right away, rather than quoting. <laughs> I, honestly, I I couldn't ask for more. Maybe. Obviously, I wanted to kind of get out in time to go to the bowling event, but it was it's rush hour traffic. It's after five. Um, they were they still realized they got me out in a, in, a, in a good amount of time and made sure to shine up my tires all four. That's even though cool. I only got two, shine up all my tires. Did a quick little dusting and vacuum in the inside. Mm. Um, so just little perks like that. I couldn't ask for more. I really couldn't. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Anything that you would take from that and applied to your work as a customer service professional? That's a nice, that's a nice one. <laughs> There you go. Nice that one. might be my last question. <laughs> um, actually, I did learn about the power of positivity. Um, I do, sometimes I can mirror the uh, customer's mood to the point where it's, although I'm very empathetic about how they feel, it's, I need to still remain positive. Mm -hmm. If I understand their concerns and they're really upset and I have that sympathetic tone, that's fine, but I still need to keep positivity yeah. underlining that. So. You know, he never broke his smile. Um, he he remained authentic and genuine, mm -hmm. um, and very knowledgeable. So, just th those things are something that I I think I would keep with me. Um, just even though I, I can be empathetic, I can care, but I still need to kind of carry them up, uplift them a little yeah. bit. Not necessarily meet them where they're at emotionally and be like, oh God, that's yeah, <laughs> but you know, that's the worst. And, I know what you mean, but yeah, kind of turn that on its head and and, yeah. and put a, a more positive spin. Definitely as a uh, definitely as a smile collector, that kind of thing leaves yeah. a lasting impact. Yeah, it does. It does enough for me to tell um, tell you about it and tell other yeah. helpers about it. I mean, it's yeah, an awesome experience. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Well, um, for those of you who maybe are Phone.com customers, if you ever get to speak with Erica. I'm sure you'll be delighted. She is a smile collector. Um, and I, thank you so much for sharing your experience with oh, me. Thank you for having That's me. Awesome. I appreciate sharing yeah. my story for anybody who wants to hear it. All right. Thanks. Feel free to go to communicatebetterblog.com if you, if you want to learn more about some great customer service insights um, and how to be a smile collector and how to be awesome at customer service and other stuff. Hopefully life as well. Have a great day. Like you